Now, the energy crisis, both here and abroad, continues. Smart countries in Europe are embracing nuclear power, including Finland. As I mentioned yesterday, the country's new Conservative Prime Minister is accelerating the construction of nuclear power plants with support from, of all people, the Greens. Our own Adam Bant could learn a thing or two from them, couldn't he? Finnish Greens Party member Taya Tormerman is visiting Australia at the moment and she explains why nuclear is the answer. Well, nuclear energy has the smallest environmental footprint of all the energy production methods. And it's also really good for our energy security. So in Finland, uh, when the war started, um, there was even, uh, we already had record high uh, support numbers for nuclear, but the war even uh, increased that to even a higher level, especially in women. So I think that uh, nuclear energy is a solution to many of our problems. And it's not just about Finland. I know you've got a new Prime Minister coming in there from the Conservative side. He wants to ramp up more nuclear energy, whereas the Greens in Finland would, would agree with that. You need more nuclear energy. France is going to invest more in its already extensive nuclear energy industry. The UK is about to open a major new reactor. Do you think that nuclear yeah. is going to be increasingly the answer across Europe? Yes, absolutely. And, and not only those countries that you mentioned, but also Sweden has turned around. So just a few years ago, they were planning to shut down all of their nuclear plants. But just new government has announced that they want to build more nuclear. And then there's also Poland, who is still very heavily relying on coal, but they want to uh, turn transition to, into nuclear as well. So there's a lot of um, nuclear excitement happening across Europe. So yes, I think it will see a new renaissance in Europe. Taya, what do you say now to all the old arguments against nuclear? There used to be a lot of focus on waste and how long that would sit around and be dangerous. Also on the threat of weapons proliferation and also the threat of nuclear accidents. Have you dealt with all those concerns, do you think? Yeah, we have dealt with those in Finland. And in fact, we just launched this new campaign in Replanet, um, the organization which I'm working for, called Water Waste. And we believe that we can use nuclear waste to power future nuclear plants. So it, it's really not, we shouldn't be burying it, we should reuse it. And so waste is really not a problem, it's very well taken care of, unlike some other waste that we, we have and we produce. Um, nuclear weapons and nuclear power are not really connected. We have countries who have nuclear weapons, but they do not have nuclear power. So I think that's addressed as well. And uh, nuclear is one of the, I mean, it's one of the safest forms of energy production if we look at the data. So I think these concerns are um, unfounded. There's an enormous focus right around the world from all sides of politics and a vast array of countries to focus on net zero by 2050. Is it possible to get to net zero globally without a big investment, a big expansion of nuclear energy? Uh, I don't think so. And I, I think IPCC will agree. So I, I think we do need, need new nuclear. In Finland, we have an ambitious goal to get to net zero by 2035. And we were able to set that target because we're using nuclear alongside with renewables. So it's, I think it's the more options you have, um, the more real, it's more realistic then to actually achieve these goals. So Australia has vast coal reserves, as you know, vast gas reserves too, a, a lot of sunshine and wind as well. But does Australia need to go down the nuclear path? I think it will complement uh, the, the wind and solar power really well. So right now, if you don't have sunshine or you don't have wind, then you're pretty much using only fossil fuels. Um, so I think you really can't afford to exclude nuclear. So just please lift the ban and see what happens. I think it can play a role in Australia's energy security and energy production as well. Taya, thanks for joining us and enjoy your time in Australia. Thank you so much.